overshot it. We're here to unbox the S19, so let's go. Let's see what's in the box. Typical box in a box. We have your AC cable. You have your charger. I'm interested to find out what charger they're using now. So same one as the S22, but you'll notice that this wheel is actually a hundred volt. It'll charge to 100.8 volts at five amps. So this is the stock charger you're gonna be getting. Your S19 manual with all the relevant information. This is, this is quite thick. So if you're interested in reading, you can read through that. Wow. And that's it, the S19. Let's get it out of the box. So this is it, this is the S19. This is a wheel where Kingsong really goes back to their roots. What they deliver is a complete package, kind of a little bit for everyone. You have the RGB, which Kingsong has really popularized, as well as speakers, and that's what you get with the S19. So let me tell you about this wheel. With the S19, you get a 3,500 watt motor, and with the battery, you have 1,776. That'll take you up to 60 kilometers an hour. That's, fit, that's 10 kilometers more than the S18 and 10 kilometers less than the S22. Now, this wheel is actually still using the same tire size as the S18, so don't let the name fool you. It's still the same tire size, but they've just called it the S19. Integrated with this wheel is your uh, speakers. So you have a 20 watt base on each side and a 15 watt tweeter on each side. Equipped with the wheel are standard Velcro power pads. Now this wheel doesn't have the uh, additional accessory. It's actually not made by Kingsong, but a third party accessory that will be launched with your S19 when you do purchase it. Okay, so let's talk about one of the most exciting features of the S19 and that's the suspension. So you'll notice that uh, it's not the air shock. So the reason why Kingsong hasn't decided to use an air shock was because of leaks. Now with a coil, it's gonna protect against that. It's gonna be a lot more durable. You won't have air leaks. It's using the same model, the DNM RCP2S suspension, but actually the size of this suspension is the same as the S22. So it's 200 meters from this eyelet to the top one. And equipped with the S19 is a 750 coil sh uh, shock. Now you still have your rebound and compression adjustment right here. So if you are familiar with the S19 or S18, uh, this will feel very, very familiar with you. On the back as well, you have your brake lights, your equalizer lights as well, but also your USB. So USB-C and your normal, I think it's called USB-A. Now, this one shares quite a few similarities um, with S18, also S20. It's kind of a blend between the two, but a unique feature is actually the front here. So on the front, hidden away is actually a lift switch. So this lift switch is no longer an actual button, it's actually a touch sensor. And then your trolley handle is located right here. So the thing that locks this trolley handle in place is actually a dampening system. There's a bit of friction to prevent it from flying up. We'll see how well that works when we get to the review and we, when we take this wheel for some light off-roading. Like I said, I don't think this wheel is meant for the heavy, heavy off-roading guy. Um, if you're doing that, still refer to the S22 or still consider that wheel. Um, but this is more of an upgrade, I think, to the S18. And most importantly, they've made an upgrade uh, with a third-party company to create these pads. So even though they're not adjustable in any way, these foam pads are really soft. And just by the first impressions, 
The angle of these pads look well placed. We'll see in the review and through testing if they're durable enough, if the quality of the angle is sufficient. But good to see that they've taken in feedback from riders across the globe who basically, on first opinion, notice that the, the stock pads with the S19 is gonna be an issue. So the S19 is equipped with 178 LEDs. Now that makes this wheel amazing to look at. Some people may not enjoy it, but for those people who wanna rave at night while riding their EUC, this is gonna be the wheel for you. The LEDs are just beautiful throughout this wheel. They're almost as beautiful as my Thailand sponsor who is sponsoring this video. Thanks to Chu Inatech for sponsoring this video. If you wanna check them out, there will be a link in the description for where you can purchase a Kingston product from them. But let's have a look, or let's have a listen to the speakers and see how they sound. I'm gonna play some copyright free music. When it comes to speakers and wheels, I really wanna know is, are you able to hear the music at 50 kilometers an hour? Based on what I'm hearing in the studio, it sounds like it's loud enough, but we'll only find out when we're actually riding this wheel. You still have your adjustable headlight, similar to the S22. The pedals, again, same pedals used on the S22 as well. Kickstand, same kind of kickstand as the S22 as well. So they've kept all the good things about the S22, um, and it's still using the same uh, slide rail system. And you'll be happy to note that the internal uh, slide system is using the newer bearings and not the friction poles like the first S20 when it first launched. So you shouldn't have much of an issue with that, but we'll see in the durability test. So 178 LEDs throughout the entire unit, and you have five watt headlights on the front. You have three on each side, so six total, five watt headlights. Let's see how bright they are. That seems pretty decent. And I like that they've kept the adjustable uh, headlight here. So the last thing I wanna talk about with the S19 is this display. This display is actually four times bigger than the S22. The number of LEDs and the size of the panel is actually 32 by 32. Um, so you get a lot more information, your battery readout, your percentage, even your speedometer is all gonna go through right here. So on the G spot of the wheel, you have your two charge ports right here. Now these are GX16-5, so industry standard, um, and they'll support up to 10 amps of fast charging for this wheel. I'll, leave, I'll do the calculation and see how long it takes if you charge at 10 amps, so you guys know. But that's the initial look of the S19. If you guys wanna know anything about this wheel in the review, please leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the review. Peace.